Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Will's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for uh, August 6, 2020 and it is for the sign of Pisces. That being said, this here is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody. Very, very important. So please do take whatever resonates with you and the rest of it, you know, just let it be. If however you would like to have your own personal reading, so you would like to have a reading with your energy, your guidance, guidance, your answers, your solutions, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the information on the different type of readings that I can offer you so I can offer you that guidance and those solutions. Um, if um, I'm going to take a tiny little break here, a little pause here and I'm going to ask you if you do enjoy my channel and you do enjoy my videos, please do click on the subscribe button to show your support and to show your encouragement to the channel. Very, very important. So that being said, I do thank you so very much. Uh, please do stay tuned. Tomorrow I will have, of course, my daily snapshots and I'm also going to have, um, as a reading, it's going to be there's no contact in the relationship and uh, you know, what is going on? Do they still care? Are they going to reach out? So this is going to be the reading for tomorrow with the daily snapshots. So as for today, our concern here is um, what's going on? Is there a third party into our relationship? I'm using the Alice in Wonderland Tarot. Let's go see what kind of information I can get for you. So I have the Six of Swords. I have the King of Wands. I have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Pentacles, the Judgment card. I have justice, I have five of wands, and I have the world. So that being said, there are some issues, okay? I do see as though there are going to be oh, some new beginnings here a little bit. This this is not love related here. This is a little bit more with work. I do feel as though you're caught into a cycle though. I do feel as though you're, um, you keep turning around and around and around and around and around and you're stuck into this cycle and you don't really know how to get off and you really only have one other, you know, there's two options when you get the Wheel of Fortune. You can either keep on running onto this wheel and wait till somebody, um, somebody rescues you or you can just jump off off of it and face your own feels right away and continue on to your journey and this is what you're going to have to do because and I feel this is what you are going to do um, because yes there are a lot of judgments there are some things going on but there's no there's no cheating um, I see as though you're going to leave you're going to depart maybe not very long maybe just a day maybe a half a day but you are going to leave you are going to take a break you are going to think about what is going on um, I fear as though there are going to be some issues going on where there's going to be a certain judgment that's going to be brought upon. There's going to be some some repercussions. There's going to be a certain justice that's going to be done um, because there's a, lo there's a lot of, of fighting. There's a lot of uh, bad behavior uh, going on. But that being said, I don't see any cheating whatsoever. And so this is really about you at the end of this cycle really completing completing your cycle. This is you uh, deciding what it is that you're going to do uh, over here, okay, with this relationship, if you're sticking in this relationship or not. I see as though this is really what this relationship is about. I don't see any any cheating going on here. So uh, that being said, this answers your question. Uh, there is no third party. Um, if ever you do have any questions, uh, you would like to have your own personal reading with your energies, um, your solutions, please do contact me at Romance tarot at gmail.com and then it will be your situation, your solutions, your guidance. So I do wish you, I'm sorry, a really, really good day and many, many blessings. Um, if you, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, please do stay tuned for the upcoming videos. So on that note, I do wish you many blessings and thank you so very much for being there. Have a great day.